Greenwich Village used to be the center of New York folk music, but recently times have changed. Gertie's folk city, where Bob Dylan got his start, is now an NYU Jewish Studies Center. The bottom line, once a central venue for folk and rock, is also now part of NYU's campus. One village club that survived the changes is Cornelius Street Cafe. For over 30 years, Cornelia has offered a home for local singers and songwriters. Everything from folk to jazz and blues. But club owner Robin Hirsch feels the real estate market is making it difficult for the cafe to nurture amateur talent and survive commercially. We have a new and rapacious landlord who decided that he wanted a 50% rent increase, even though what we were paying was market rent. It's, it's grim to look to the future, actually. If the world changes. As prices rise and artists move east, an unlikely home for folk has emerged. Jalopy in Red Hook, Brooklyn, is attracting musicians young and old with open mics and music lessons. The club's run by Jeff Wiley, a music lover from Chicago with a gift for restoring old instruments. Well, we have an instrument shop, we have a music school, we have the stage, beer and wine, coffee. So we just sort of jammed it all into one business. And it also worked for being a a diversified business. Any of them are failing, the other ones hold them up. Well, this show tonight is called The Roots and Ruckus Show, um, and it was run in a Thai restaurant down at McDougal Street called The Village Ma. They were switching owners, and the new owners were more interested in karaoke, I think, than uh, live blues music or, or folk or anything like that. Jeff came out to one of the last shows, checked it out, really liked it, and uh, and we were able to talk him into letting us bring the show here. Everything about the place has a really good vibe. And strangely enough, we get more people coming out to this show on the regular than we did when we were down at McDougal Street. Though Jalopy is thriving, it's a sign that the folk music scene, like many others, has splintered into farther out neighborhoods. Some find that disappointing. You can walk around Chelsea or Soho and go from gallery to gallery. And 20 or 30 years ago, you could do a version of that with folk clubs. But it, it's, it's difficult to maintain that level of intimacy. There, everything moves. You can't ever have that scene again. But it never went away. It's not like it disappeared. Folk music is, is ubiquitous. <laughs>